is there a pattern of behavior on the part of the Ministry of Health to systematically ignore and undermine and try to bypass the professional standards that the Pharmacy Association is trying to advocate? Definitely. Um, we, we feel this way because of what we have had and endured over the past few years. First, it started with the removal of the, uh, the pharmacist's uh, technical advisor from the tendering committee. Now, a key person is due needed in the tender committee. This committee is, is um, given the task to actually allocate the medications that will be given to all the public. You want, um, by all means, you want efficacy and standard of medications. You don't want low quality, by no means, which always uh, equates to low cost. Yes, you want a cost effective, but also don't um, totally obscure the fact of quality. Um, that was the first move. The second move was the, the intent of abolishing the, the board exam, which is um, tied into our, our laws that govern the pharmacists in the country, um, all known as the chemists and druggists of Belize. Uh, second after that was um, the actual uh, intent of, well, it was given, it was issued, uh, a license to a person coming from Nicaragua. Well, the person is actually living in Belize, but studied in Nicaragua just because they presented with a bachelor's degree in pharmacy, that automatically that equates for them to be given a license. That is not so. We fought that. We had to hire an attorney to fight that. And um, now this case. Uh, we, we just feel that there's a total disrespect to our profession altogether.